The signal strength of a daylight sensor will change depending on the time of day. More specifically, it will change depending on how much natural light it's receiving. So if you put one block over a daylight sensor, you can see that it loses one signal strength. But if you put two blocks around the daylight sensor, it will lose two signal strength. This means you can have a daylight sensor in day mode far underneath an awning, but it will just reduce the signal strength of the output all the way down until it's no longer turned on, even if it's the middle of the day. Adversely, when in night mode, it will actually increase the signal strength for every block blocking the natural light, even in the middle of the day. This means that a daylight sensor in night mode with blocks above it is going to always provide a redstone signal. It will actually count the number of blocks above it in the middle of the day. So if there's two blocks blocking the sun in the middle of the day, the night mode sensor will have a signal strength of two. At noon and midnight, an unobstructed daylight sensor will have a signal strength of 15, depending on if it's in day mode or night mode. We'll talk more about the actual functional uses of daylight sensors in the next episode.